Hello, hello, everybody. Oh my goodness, it's been forever. It's been too long. Okay, it's been a month. It's been over a month. <laughs> I have an envelope. Yay, it's an envelope. Um, so I want to apologize for not being around. I've been dealing with some like personal stuff and stuff and um, and we'll talk about that in a future video. But for now, we're going to make an envelope. We're going to do an envelope project. So I'm using these like mead. They're just like regular number 10 envelopes. I found these at the Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure I got them for a dollar. Or I got them at like a uh, Office Depot for a dollar. Either way, I got them for a dollar. So I'm just going to cut each fold on the side like this. This is what I'm going to do. And so I was kind of thinking back to an earlier project um, I did for the Roxy's Weekly Challenge, right? Where we made the, uh, the document holders. And I thought this... I thought that this would work for a document holder. So what I'm thinking, right, is for example, we can take like a piece of this coffee dyed paper, for example. We could take this piece of coffee dyed paper and put it here, right? And then this could get folded up like this. Maybe what we'll do So I'll fold it here, and then I'll fold it here, right? So it's like that. And then we'll fold it again, like that. Ta-da! So we have a piece of paper here, and then um, I'll just add a bunch of documents to it, right? So, but I'm going to ink it and stuff, and then I figure I'll um, close it with a paper clip is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that should work. So I figure I'll just use my Distress Oxide and my makeup brush and just ink it up real quick. So I've been in the garden. I've been in the garden so much <laughs> every single day. Um, it's been wonderful. It's so good. It's good for the body. It's good for the soul. It's, <laughs> it's good for the mind, right? That's what they say. And it's so true. It really is so true. So I've been taking full advantage of the warm weather while it lasts. And um, just been in the garden, transforming the whole yard. I think I'm going to do the whole backyard <laughs> uh, over time. It's going to be great. I'm going to plant a bunch of trees. I just planted a juniper tree. So a moon glow juniper. And they do great because they can be cut back. Uh, so they do fine. They're okay being cut back. So I can keep him like narrow if I want, which I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep him kind of narrow. Okay. But he can get up to 20 feet tall. So I thought, wow, that's cool. A good tall tree, something for the birds to land in. Okay, that's good. Just inked up. So, and then I might go over the very edge with the walnut. Right? Let's see how that does. Awesome. Okay, so then I'm going to do the walnut. I'm just going to take my regular dauber. And we have Timothy Stitch Dum Dum. He, uh, Chestita made that for me. <laughs> He hangs out on my craft table and helps me craft, keeps me company. So just the very edge, I'm going to do the inside just a little bit. Not too worried about the inside.
just want to get it inked before I get any documents put in it. So I'm trying to think how I'm going to attach the documents. I think I will do a hole punch and tie it, you know, tie it with like a ribbon. There we go. Lovely. All vintaged up. Cool. Cool. Okay, awesome. So here's our envelope with the cut sides. And it's all been inked up. And so it opens like this and we have one piece of paper folded like this. Right, and let's see what else we have we can put in there. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, let's see. Photos won't really work. I do have a letterhead. This one folds open like that, though. That won't do. We have, let's see, book and periodical illustrations. Oh, those are probably going to be cool. Oh, we should put one of these in. Let's see. The Antique Trader of Annual Articles, Volume 12, page 226. This is really cool. Look at that. Okay, we'll put one of these in there. So we have one of those. We have one of those. We have some stuff. We've got some stuff. So let's see. How wide are we? We're too wide. For only the newspaper one, right? Everything else isn't. So let's trim this up. Can we trim it up a little bit without losing? Looks like yes. Okay. Cut it here. Hope for the best. Well. Isn't that what happens? <laughs> okay. And then trim it here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, awesome. So this one. I want the fold to be here. And it's still a little wide, just a little bit. Okay, fold it here. <laughs> that. That can go in there. Like that. This one can get folded. Can it get folded? between we'll hope for the best <laughs> right and I think I'll stitch it in I think that'll be interesting and then it'll be like permanent you won't really be able to take them out right 
so this one I'm going to fold here. I think this will be my middle, my like last page. This one will go here like this. This one will go here. We have the King Arthur page. It can go here. This one. <laughs> All right, this one. Fold like that. Well, I hope this, I feel like they're folded kind of crooked. Let's see. There we go. Great, perfect, awesome. Okay, this one, a quarterly report of members. This one I'm gonna do like this. Fold it a little bit again. Let's fold this one here. October session, 1915. This one's 1957. Order of Railway Conductors and Brakemen. Plate Road Receipt. Last but not least, our cool magazine page or newspaper page or whatever this is. <laughs> All right. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stitch it here, just um, this part right here in the top fold 
and I'm going to stitch it in a, uh, let's see, I have a tapestry needle and just some black waxed thread. And I'm not going to do a three hole pamphlet stitch, I'm just going to do two and then I'm going to tie it in like a bow, right? And then that way it can be untied, right? And you can like take out the cool documents if you want. Okay, so oh, I feel like maybe I should put a sturdy piece of paper. <laughs> I don't want to like cover our guys though, so. Okay, clips, that's what clips were made for. Goodness, goodness. Okay, so we'll put a clip here. And another one here, like that, just catty corner. Everything is good. Okay, I'm gonna poke my holes first. Let's see, kind of in the middle if I can. One there. Try and eyeball it to be even. <laughs> it probably won't be, but we'll try. All right, well that's way not on the fold, but what can you do? All right, so that's absolutely okay. Come on. And then just right through like that. And then I'm just going to tie it in a bow. I don't know how well it will stay, but we will see. I may tie it in a knot first. <laughs> the idea was so that I could like, right, you could untie it if you wanted and take the documents out. It's too loose, so I'm gonna have to tie it in a knot. And we'll tie it in a little bow. <laughs> Yay! All right, so. That's folded a little crooked, but that's okay. All right, so now that it's, it's gonna need to, okay, this is, needs to be flat. We'll fold the middle one first. it up. Fold it down. <laughs> right, these go in like this. This gets folded up. Right, and then I want to put like a paper clip on there. That's what I was thinking. 
So I'm I'm hoping that I can put a paper clip on there. That cause you know, you could always do the string closure and tie it around, but I wanted to do like a paper clip. I have these kind of bigger ones. Right? And then it like stays shut. Let's see. What other kind of paper clip? would work. I have fancy ones. I have a bird one. Aww. <laughs> we'll go like this. It's got the bird on it. Oh, how cute is that? Okay, well, we'll use the bird one because it's super cute. Okay, and then if we want, we can like decorate it and stuff. We put some like washi tape on it. Let's see. Okay. So some washi tape, maybe a little bit of stamping. I have these little flowers from your creative studio. We can use those. Take off the little plastic tops that I already, maybe I already did for this one. <laughs> I can't ever tell. Let's see. Let's use a stamping block that Tommy sent me. Or how about this little one? I think I got these little ones from, um, Hobby Lobby. They were on sale. So let's see. Um, let's use, I'm going to use archival ink, the coffee. There we go. Oh, how cute is that? So cute. Okay. And then this one I'm going to put here. Ink it up good. Lovely. I love it. Okay, cool. Perfect. Let's see, what do I have? I have this, um, it's like a Rolodex card. We just ink that up. I use whatever's left on the brush. Stick that on there, maybe stamp something. Let's see. Here we go. Isn't this pretty? My sister got me this. It's like a book, but it's not really a book. It's a little box. So let's see. Identification check. Numbers collect. Number destination, do do do. Filed. Filed. How about filed seven eight five? Filed. So I planted, I also planted, so I've been planting trees, you know. I planted that Munglo juniper, but I also planted um, a ponderosa pine tree. And he's not looking too happy. I don't know. <laughs> he's still alive, but we'll see what happens. Right? So my husband ordered me a bunch more little saplings 
he was like, well, you'll get one of them to live. <laughs> so, all right, filed. Awesome. And then just one more thing behind it is I have, oh, look at him. Look at him. Oh, look at him. Look at, oh, look at these two. Oh, and him too. I like this one. I like these two. We'll use these two. And some little scrap pieces, right? Just for background layering. Okay, so these are Fiskars Paper Edgers. That's what these are, these little, um, they're the deckle edge ones. So, because I had someone asking. So that's what those are. Okay, I'm gonna cut it here. I just have to cut him down a little bit. Ink is edge. Okay. I think he's fine. I'm not going to cut him down any more than he already is. These are definitely Edith Holden birds. And then here we have some, right, just some page edging from Edith Holden. So I'm just going to Rip some pieces and ink them real quick. And then layer them on there. I'm thinking one up here. Like this. So I had a whole family, speaking of birds, <laughs> I had the whole family of robins today come um, hang out in my yard, in the backyard, you know, in my garden while I was sitting out there. It was so awesome. They, they came so close. Um, they were uh, gathering the parsley, which is like a weed that's native here. I didn't know robins ate it until I saw them eating it. <laughs> so I've left it and it, it uh, does create a beautiful ground cover. And Nancy was showing me, I guess it's um, edible and very good for you. So it's like a, you know, great to put in like salads and stuff like that. It's just loaded with a bunch of stuff, but <clears throat> it's one of those you wouldn't think. Okay, I'm thinking like right here, like this. Like that. We'll put this bird here like this. Oh, he's so cute. Right? That bird will go there. This bird will go up here. Something needs to go here. Perhaps some text. We have some Edith Holden text. We do. Let's put some Edith Holden text in. You can't go wrong. I mean, isn't that gorgeous? That text. Put that there like that. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's good. Ink it. Let's see how it looks. Perhaps it needs another piece of this. I 
I'm not sure. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I think he goes like that. There's something needs to go here. Perhaps a label on top. Hmm. Let's see what we have. I bet we have something. So yes, we. I'm. I will. I'm back. I will be doing more videos. I absolutely promise. <laughs> I will tear myself from the garden. Um, let's see. Oh, look, we have these that were sent to us. Oh, they're, they are too big, though. There is this one. Hmm. Oh, we have this one. It's got like a gold. It says pharmacy on it, though. I don't want it to say pharmacy. Raw denim. Hmm. Collect. Private collection. I'm just looking for labels, little looking through my little labels. This is where I put all my little labels that I find. One says date, this one says specimen. So these are like little Tim Holtz ones. I kind of like that. This one, this one. This one says Courage. See, that is a digital from, oh, I'm trying to remember. I apologize. I don't remember. <laughs> a popular, if you search up labels in Etsy, they'll come up there. <clears throat> Let's see. This one was sent to me by Jean. Hmm. Well, we've got this kind of piece of paper, which is kind of like a label. Again, we can use one of these. about like that. Went through that whole box of labels. I'm gonna, because look at that, it actually says Juniper too. Isn't that great? That's great. Except look what I did. Look what I did. All right, so you know what that means. You know what it's just screaming for, lace. That's what it is. <laughs> it needs lace. So what do we have? We have this bit of lace. I could put a tiny bit of lace here. And a tiny bit of lace up here. I don't like the color, huh? What do we think? Don't like it. I do not like it. Let's see. We could put flowers on it instead. Let's do that. We haven't used flowers in a long time. What do we have? What do we have? I love these. So cute. So cute. I have little ones. 
Oh, I like this one. This is very pretty. That's like a Prima flower. It's kind of um, bulky, though, is the problem. I have this one. Here's a smaller one of these little... I really like these. That's a white one. Do I have another small... It's always these. We got flowers flying everywhere. I'm thinking that one and that one, like that, do it like that, I have another one of these, it's too big to go over here, but I kind of like it, catty corner like that, what do we think about that? I like it. Let's do it. And then we'll cover up our little mistake there, right? Because we've got a little bit of glue seepage right here. my Fabri-Tac to glue my flowers. Perfect. So there it is, yay. And then um, on the back, we don't really have anything. I could put like a little label or something. Here, let's put one of these. This like number. <laughs> This I just made in like Photoshop and printed it out. And then cut it. Okay. There, there's its number. I'll put the bird in front like that. Ta-da, there it is. Our document holder using a security envelope, a number 10 security envelope, right? And we decorated it and everything. So anyway, again, I apologize for not being in the craft room for so long. Um, and I'm a little rusty and all that stuff, but you know, it was fun and I wanted to hang out with you guys and come say hi and everything. So anyway, hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.